So, what class did you end up choosing? Um, I'm playing as... Lower class. How many hit points do I start with? Well, considering if I hit you hard enough with any object, you'd probably die, I'm gonna say one. Awesome, I completed all my quests for the day. What's my reward? The reward you get is the satisfaction of completing your daily tasks. Well, that's not gonna pay my fucking bills. So how exactly will I know when I've leveled up? Oh, that's really quite simple, actually. You will either hit your quarter life crisis, your midlife crisis, or just be really content with the prospect of death. Well, I think I'm already max level. Fun fact, anxiety is a free action. So what level spell slot do I have to use to decide on what I want to eat? Well, you're neurodivergent, so it'll vary day to day. Hate to break it to you, but your embarrassment feature is just now activated. What? Why? I'm literally sitting here by myself. Right, but remember that time in second grade where you hiccup and burp simultaneously during your oral presentation? Well, now I do! How is it possible that I failed every single skill check today? Oh, buddy, I hate to break it to you. Some of those were actually successes. Wait, so I can only attempt the skill I'm proficient in, but I can only get proficiency in a skill if I've had three to five years experience. How is that meant to work? How in the world am I starting with negative a thousand gold? Well, you said in your backstory that you went to college. Oh yeah, that's depressing. I definitely want to take the athlete background. Well, with a little bit of hard work, determination and consistency, that's absolutely possible. Fine, I'll just play as a hermit. So is there anything I can do to concentrate on this task that needs to get done by the end of the day? No. You're not even gonna let me roll for it? I mean, you can with this dice, but every single side's a one. And with that, I've run out of spell slots for the day, so it's time for a long rest. How is that possible? It's nine in the morning. Oh, cool. So while I'm hyperfixating on an activity, I get plus 10 to all skill checks relating to that hyperfixation. Yep, and then after a little while, that hyperfixation will pass and you'll get disadvantage on all your other skill checks. What skill check do I need to use to recharge my social battery? When you figure it out, please let me know. So, the higher I level up, the stronger and more athletic I get? No, not really. Why would I ever cast procrastination? Oh, don't be silly. You won't cast it. It'll just cast itself whenever you have something important to do. So, why is my class a sorcerer? Well, you said you're a programmer. Right. Well, as any good programmer can attest, you're not quite sure why your code works, you just know that it does. Guess you just got a new job working for the government. Ooh, so you're multi-classing into Warlock. Oh, I don't think I have any rations. Well, in today's economy, it'll cost you around 10 gold for a single meal. Well, that'll work great because I don't have any gold. I bought you a magic item that might help with your disadvantage in perception. Well, son of a bitch. I would like to use my racial feature, white privilege. Ooh, and I've got a magical item here called an alarm clock. Amazing, that'll actually become a pivotal part of your daily routine. It says here it'll give me the mental strength to get up in the morning. Not at all, it'll actually just piss you off more than anything. So if I study and pay my fees, I'll get to play as whatever class I want? Well, actually, there's no guarantee you'll get to play as that class after you graduate. I just found this cool cantrip that makes me jump forward in time. Really? What's it called? Doom scrolling. Wait, why do I hate myself now? Oh, cool, I also get a skill called mansplaining. It's actually pretty complicated, so let me explain it to you. So after years of adventures and all the jobs I've completed, are there gonna be like bards who sing my tale? I really hate to break it to you, but there's not many people who are gonna care about your accomplishments in the grand scheme of things. Well, that's depressing. So if I'm me in this world, who exactly are you? I'm just your conscience, constantly throwing hurdles at you despite the fact that you never asked for hurdles and you didn't even know you were running. You're telling me the only way to deal with the horrors of my backstory is to pay someone all of my remaining gold to talk about my feelings. Yeah, that's exactly right. So what are the disadvantages if I just don't do that? Enough about real life for a second. Have you ever thought to yourself it'd be really cool to play D&D as like a cow person or an octopus or a capybara? This video is sponsored by Arcane Minis and their upcoming Kickstarter, Moonsoon. Moonsoon is an upcoming D&D 5th edition campaign setting set in the archipelago of Tuj. The incredibly unique part of Moonsoon is that there's 12 unique moons that can help guide and shape the fate of your characters as they explore this vast and expansive world. Oh, and you can visit all of these moons as well. There's also 11 new races. 
13 new subclasses, and an entirely new mechanic based around a moon deck which I can't wait to get my hands on. What's even cooler is the amazing folk over at Arcane Minis have set me up with a link to download an exclusive preview of their Capybara playable race, alongside some free STL minis if you have access to print them. So if you want to see any of that information, or just links to the Kickstarter which releases soon, you can click on the links in my description.